Okay, today we're going to take a look at a problem students having with his uh, uh, Makito test. It's tossing a null point error and doesn't see why. And he's gone ahead and provided me his project up inside of GitHub. I forked it to my repo and now I'm going to go in and open it. So I have IntelliJ up. So this is the directory here. So he looks like he's doing a Gradle build. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and tell IntelliJ to import the project and finish that and take a second for IntelliJ to, to start up. And he was also on a branch. And he's on the error branch, so I need to check that out. And see if we can re recreate this error for him. It's gonna take a second for IntelliJ to scan everything. Now, he did post the source code up on the, the forums, and I took a look at didn't quite pop out at me right away. A lot of times it's easier for me to get things inside of IntelliJ. That way I have the full project. It can be hard to troubleshoot when you just get a snippet of code. There's too many too many variables. No, don't know what version you're on, and it could be something completely unrelated. It could be something not on the screen. So when uh, I do run into something that I'm not quite sure on, I do ask people to go ahead and just go ahead and, and put it up in GitHub, get me a link to it. That way I can bring it up like I am right now and get the full picture rather than just seeing a, a small piece of the picture. So it looks like IntelliJ is done. Let's go ahead and run the test and see what we get here. And this is in the recipe service test. And running into a couple problems here. I'm going to pause this and resolve these compile errors real quick. Bring it off pause and let's see what's going on. We're using Project Lombok and I need to come in and set up Project Lombok. Make sure that we have the Java compiler. Annotation processors. Enable annotation processing. That's our problem. That's one thing with Project Lombok. You do need to enable the annotation processing so that it does pick everything up properly. It looks like it did now, so let's go ahead and try running this again. And boom, that's the error that he's seeing. He's getting a null pointer error, so he's got recipe, all recipes. So this is inside the inside the class under test. So he's testing this recipe service implementation, and he's in the recipe repo. I'm gonna guess that is not getting set. Let's go ahead and prove that. I'm gonna set a breakpoint there. Come in. Let's debug that recipe repo. So that actually is getting set. So that's interesting. So recipes supposed to be hash set, then zero. Stepping through the we're into the Machi Dakota, so I'm just going through the debugger trying to see where we are getting this to pop. Because I thought he initially I thought that the recipe repo was not getting set, but apparently it is. Recipe repos and Okay, let's take a look at the recipe object. So that is a hash set, so that's good. Let's take a closer look at the test here. I'm going to go ahead and continue this. Uh, okay, I see what's going on here. So he's doing a recipe repo find all but what we've done is we have not set up the Makito mock action so take a look at the test here so it initializes the mocks but we have not implemented the return value on that so default behavior of a Makito mock so the mock is initiated but what's happening let me close some of these out here in the recipe service he's doing a find all this find all method is returning back a null, and that is failing. So 
Let me pause this. I'm going to refactor the code real quick. Okay, just resumed it here and refactored the code a little bit. So before we had all this on one line, and I've put the result coming back from the recipe repo so you can see this a little easier. So now I'm going to move my debug point down here. And let's rerun the test. Nope, let me actually run it in the debugger. The debug will work a lot better that way. So now we're at that breakpoint. And now it's easier to see that found recipes is in fact null. So that's what's coming back from the Makito mock there. So the find all method is uh, failing. And it, it was a little hidden there the way the qu code was formatted. I just reformatted that so you could see it easier. And I'm actually going to revert that change. So this is the way it was originally. We'll stop that. And while it was paused there, I went in and added into the lines that we need for Makito. So I'm going to create a uh, empty array list for the recipes to give a return value. So in here, you want to use Makito to set up that mock. So it, he was doing things right. So we had the recipe repo marked as a mock, and we were using the Makito annotations to initialize the mock. So that's that will set up the mock, but we weren't setting a mock action on it. So now we're going to set up a variable called recipe list. And we're going to say when find all is invoked, and then we're going to return that recipe list. And just uh, as a reminder, you'll need to import do the static import when. So we got a couple other things that are no longer being used here, but I'll clean. Actually, let's just clean that up right now. And go in IntelliJ optimize imports. Boom. Now let's go ahead and run this again. And we can see that it is now passing. So that, that set up Makito to return back a value. So that null pointer was happening because Makito's default behavior, when you don't tell it any type of action, it's going to return back a null value. And that method wasn't null safe. So it went kaboom with the with dreaded NPE error. Just to reiterate, if we get rid of that, it's going to return back a null and then go kaboom. So I am going to go ahead and commit this into GitHub and pass it back to the student so he can uh, do a pull request and see my exact changes here. And I'll have this video up to share with everybody else here in a little bit.